This is an experiment to demonstrate the effect of vapor pressure. We know that we can make water boil on a stove, for example, at 200 degrees Fahrenheit if we add more heat. If we add heat. Uh, we can also make water boil at lower temperature by using low pressure. This small reservoir is connected to a low pressure source and I have water in here at room temperature. The low pressure source is a venturi which is connected to this tap. The tap will provide the pressure required to make the venturi work and provide low pressure into the small reservoir. So I'll just turn the water on and we'll start the vacuum going. You can see here a vacuum gauge. The vacuum gauge is an inch of mercury and indicates how much vacuum is now in the reservoir. We need to get down to minus 28 inches of mercury to get good boiling for this water at room temperature. So we're down to about minus 20 right now. First thing that happens is all the air that's in the uh, reservoir will be pulled out of the water and pulled out through the uh, vacuum hose. So we're starting to see all these little air bubbles form and uh, coming out of the water. And now as the pressure drops further, now we're getting vapor bubbles or actual water bubbles, water vapor bubbles occurring due to the low pressure. So we're down to approximately minus 26, going a little bit further. And we're starting to get really good uh, boiling here or vaporization of the water. I think you can see that this water is definitely boiling. Okay, so now I'm going to shut this off and show you that this water is actually quite cool. I can easily get my hand in here. It's nice and cool. And there you have it. Water boiling at low pressure.